Hi everybody, uh, it's me, Ninja Lens. Um, I just thought, I felt good enough and I felt like I could do, at least give the illusion, I felt like I could do like a nice vlog, trying to keep like the energy going. I just did like a really long stream, for seven hours. Um, I'm really proud of that because, first of all, I set, I spent like time setting up so that it would give like notifications so people followed or donated. No one donated. Don't worry, but don't donate. I just have it set up so that I'm ignoring that point. I just set up fancy stuff so it looked pretty cool. Like a nice little gif of stuff happening. And I got the woo when people follow. Uh, it was fun. And for the first little while, only a couple people who had already followed me came in and said hi. Came in and said hi. Came in and said hi. Like uh, friends of mine, old followers. They're like, hey, what's going on? They watched for a couple hours and then left. Um, and I was alone by myself streaming for a little while. And I was kind of getting kind of sad. So I... Uh, <laughs> I watched videos, and we'll get. I watched my old videos, which is super weird, and I'll, we'll get back to that later. But first, I want to talk about, you know, like, I was by myself, and I was like, you know, I think I'm going to end. And I was doing that, my little ending thing where I'm like, oh, thank you for watching the stream, and if even if you didn't watch the stream, you know, even if no one's there, I like to keep it up, like, I'm saying goodbye. And then some two people came in and were like, oh, you're ending? And I was like, I'm only really ending because there's no one here. And so I streamed for another like an hour and a half, so I got to seven hours, because before it would have been like five hours seven hour stream I'm pretty proud of that that I kept it up and then a couple of people came and went after that and followed and I got to use my little <laughs> alert system thing that I'm pretty proud of and uh, that I made and it was cool that's all I really have to say about the stream um, and then after I was done I was streaming Minecraft by the way because I'm a 13 year old tra wearing a 20 year old man suit <laughs> um, uh, and then I was going through like I, I, I try and export as much as I can from streams that I have in the past. I usually, sometimes I forget. I forget and I'll, I won't upload them and then they're lost and there's some good moments in there. I try and get them all uploaded. I haven't really gone through and edited them. That's another th topic that's getting rambly. I'm trying to keep it on t on point today. Uh, and I was looking through like one of, a couple of things that I uploaded and I was looking at the copyright claims. Because I play music sometimes and when you export the whole thing, um, Twitch doesn't get it at all. Uh, mostly Twitch gets like the big uh, production, like a big, the big music studios, and they take them out. And, like when I'm listening to Michael Jackson or something like that, and they'll they'll just mute that, and then I export it. And I've checked YouTube, and usually they'll they'll catch a couple more things, but YouTube doesn't do anything fancy to it other than monetize it, so I can still download it when it's privatized. All kinds of nonsense. And when I was looking through it, I saw um, Oxhorn and Toby Turner. The Toby Turner I was less surprised about, but Oxhorn uh, and Toby Turner were both. Uh, uh, copyright claims strikes on there and I, I I was just surprised because um mainly because Oxhorn hasn't been making videos and he wasn't like that big of a YouTuber and they're YouTubers and back in my uh, for the longest time YouTubers were less respected than most uh anybody out there they didn't really have ownership of their stuff and it's been changing a lot lately but I didn't expect Oxhorn stuff to be on there because he kind of stopped right as like YouTube right before YouTube really got that YouTubers kind of realized, like, it was realized as, like, they own their own content, it was, they weren't just, like, stealers of stuff, posting, like, upload stuff, it's really complex, but I'm just trying to say, I'm surprised, and I'm, I'm excited, I'm, I'm happy that Oxhorn, like, still owns his stuff, and he can still, um, be like, yo, I own that, don't just, don't just do that, I own it. I was also weirded out because I was playing a Bryci song, and it was somebody else's. It was somebody somebody else got the copyright claim. There's all kinds of funny stuff with copyright, but I'm just it's just there. It's privatized, and YouTube doesn't like give you copyright strikes when you just let them monetize it. And it's since it's privatized, I don't really care because no one else is gonna have to see ads on it. I'm not gonna fight it. I'd fight it if it was like on a public video, and it was just like no. Um, and uh, now let's get back to the one thing I was talking about before where I uh, I was watching some of my older videos and uh, I kind of watched as a lot of my mundane news show was really poorly made because I was actually learning how to use like I remember the first mundane news show was edited was my, my first time I ever really edited like an actual Ninja Lens video in Premiere and uh, it was bad I remember at one point I, I to get text on there I screwed up the audio somehow I managed to screw up the audio by getting text on there that's a that's a story for another day but that was funny and then I started watching my later videos like really only the last three videos I made uh, were I, I, I'm kind of proud of um, adventures in rock a lot um, glove man interview interviews for the 
Incredibles 2, and uh, the Sonic uh, Completionist video. I'm really proud of all of them because I actually managed to crop the videos properly and make them actually HD. Well, one of them was 480, but it actually full was full screen, and I could see there wasn't black screen sides on the thing. It was really hard for me to tell because up until really recently, I was editing on a... That... It's, that's a CRT LED monitor. That that's 480. It's a, that's a standard definition. Oh, everyone's gonna get all mad. Well, whoever's watching is gonna get all mad. Um, it's bad. <laughs> it's a bad monitor, and I actually I couldn't tell. HD looked the same as 480 because I was dealing with a 480 monitor, and I didn't really understand that. And I'm pretty proud of what I accomplished with what limited stuff I had, and I finally figured out certain things, and. And it's the saddest part about that is I made some good videos and then I stopped and I really want to make them again and I feel like it was hard you know dealing with depression I feel like this is my like recovery from depression because I lost my father and I I want to be making YouTube videos again despite like you know I I, I want to make them again and I think that would be the best way to move on with my life is to continue making YouTube videos and continue to strive to make great things and I don't know exactly how I'm going to get the strength to be like that really I feel like I'm less entertaining less energetic and less like charismatic of a person than I was then because I was like cont I, I felt like I was more energetic back then in general like I've lost a lot of you didn't hear anything <laughs> I have lost a lot of energy generally because my health has deteriorated and uh I'm working very hard to get, get it back and get my health back in shape like I <laughs> I was in I was big and I had gained a lot of weight due to the medication I was taking when I started making videos, but and then I lost the weight, and uh, I was losing the weight when I was making those last couple of videos. I, I was kind of sluggish there too because I was dealing with like trying. To, I was I was getting sluggish like making videos, and uh, it was frustrating because like I was on a diet and I I was like losing weight is frustratingly like because you you have less energy. And everyone's like, oh, you're eating so healthy, you're going to have so much energy. You're like, oh, fat is energy. Like, carbohydrates provide energy. Dopamine makes you more focused, things like that. And you just, like, less productive. And right, and then after my father died, uh, I fell into depression. And I tried really hard to stay, like, keep from falling into, like, a food addiction. And I feel like resisting for the, f the first three months helped. But uh, I, I, I collapsed. <laughs> I just kind of, like, I had to eat. I had to eat. I had to lay around. I... I just couldn't like cope any other way and I gained a lot of weight back and then I've been struggling to like be healthy but not I, I know I can't do like the hardcore stuff I did before and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna get the strength to be a youtuber and I think the best way I can do it is just like make a video just like do stuff on this channel like I'm afraid to put stuff on the main channel because I'm not good enough and this channel is like my channel where I put it up there and I'm like, I'm just, I'm making it and I will, I'm keeping getting better. It's like my, kind of like my recovery channel. And I kind of wish I could like, put, I think I'll put it on my Twitch. Uh, I'll link it to my, like my recovery channel. This is like, this isn't my main channel. This is my recovery channel. And like one day, like once I've overcome all the hurdles of losing someone and being bad at health, I guess, uh, I will be... I hope one day to be that YouTuber who makes the great content. And I, instead of, I'm going to try and cut this rambling because it's been nine minutes. And I thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, mm -mm. I don't know why, whatever. Thank you. Thank you for enjoying it. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, I don't know how you got through nine minutes. If I didn't enjoy a video, I couldn't get through nine minutes. I'm rambling again. Bye. Ninja out.